Uh, it was reported by Fightful and confirmed by Meltzer. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we just knew what we wanted to accomplish in wrestling. And if we had stayed there, regardless of the money that they would have given us, we wouldn't have accomplished what we thought we could have accomplished. We wouldn't have made the name for ourselves that we thought we could make. Um, and, you know, I don't want to stay somewhere that I'm not welcome or not wanted. And I know Vince didn't want me, you know, or didn't want us or didn't care to have us. Uh, we weren't his cup of tea and that's OK. Perfectly OK, because it's his company. Um, and I wanted to go somewhere that I could, that we could uh, make a name for what we were in 2016. And uh, we weren't going to be able to do that in WWE. Meltzer has some strong feelings about um, how you're used okay. following this. Uh, he says, quote, the, uh, this is about the April 29th Raw uh, following the first segment you did with the Usos the following week. Meltzer says, quote, the idea of booking a show based around humiliating the revival in multiple segments feels like the wrong priorities. So the insinuation is that y'all are being punished on screen, being mm -hmm. humiliated as characters on screen for something that's a contract issue off screen. Um, if true, how stupid is that? Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to say it's stupid. You know, um, I, I don't want to to feed into that because there are a lot of <laughs> a lot of stupid decisions that are made in professional wrestling. If that's his prerogative to make us seem less than than what we already were that's okay we knew after because we'd already asked for our release you know we'd already we had asked for our release a year prior or something or, or excuse me a few months prior um and i thought then you know i thought when we asked for our release then i thought that was when uh things are gonna go south for us but it kind of took the the other turn and they gave us the belts i guess they thought that giving us the belts would make us happy um, and then they offered us the money and we said no thank you and once uh, cash and i had talked because they were offering contracts to everybody crazy amount of money and we had decided whatever they offer us we're not going to take and we had both you know talked about well if we don't take these contracts you know what they're going to do um and so i understood and accepted what they were doing and i remember uh they had given us these <clears throat> you know in the upcoming weeks they'd given us these um the scripts for for what was going to happen like the back shaving stuff and we'll talk about it right. later but the the oozy hot and stuff oh, and the and the the writers were so worried handing us this that when we got it, we started laughing at it because it was funny. And they were like, okay, we thought you guys were going to be upset about this. And we we're like, no, this is the stuff we've been asking to do. You know what I mean? Like this is, we've been trying to show and asking to show more, uh, more character development, more charisma, no, more personality. Um, so <laughs> in Vince and company trying to make us look less than and trying to quote unquote bury us, it made us happy because we were able to go out and, and have the fun that we had been wanting to have. And I get that you not wanting to co-sign to me saying it was stupid because last week we didn't even talk about this. The Young Bucks uh, episode that we did on Full Gear, so many headlines about this is when my relationship with Tony Khan deteriorated, said Dax mm -hmm. Harwood. This is when me and the Young Bucks didn't get along, Dax Harwood literally the next sec the next sentence was and it was my fault yeah. and that's yeah, not so, that's not yeah. the headline right I, I i meant what i said was that my relationship with tony or the bucks started deteriorating because of my anxiety but hey let's don't put anxiety in the headline let's don't bring awareness to to mental health oh, yeah. let's just talk about the shit behind the scenes let's try to stir up something <laughs> so i can get right. a few clicks god dang dude and and uh, so because then it would have been like uh, Dax Harwood thought the booking was stupid because I said it. So let me just say, the fact that you guys have a real situation with contracts and they take your characters, and as you say, you believe that was the intent. You believe that it was related to your contract. I feel that's weird at the very like objectively outside of wrestling. That's weird, yeah. but you feel that in fact it was related to your contracts why you're all of a sudden doing this crazy shit we were told that <laughs> we were told that that's wow. why yeah so it's it's not 
because we, I mean, we, we knew going into saying, no, we weren't going to do the contracts. We knew one of two things. <clears throat> one, they were either going to let us, they were going to keep us off of television and keep us out of the house shows. That way we, they would either starve us and we couldn't make our money and, and, and completely make the people forget about us. Or they were going to bring us to TV and make us do embarrassing, silly stuff or make us lose every single week, which, right. which we had been doing anyway, but right. uh, to try to, to devalue us as characters. So we knew one of those were going to happen. And then when they told us they were worried about giving us these scripts because they thought we were going to be mad, we were told point blank because uh, we weren't going to sign. And that was their course of action was to make sure that us as characters weren't any more valuable than what we had, uh, the little bit of value we had then. All right. Well, it's weird. 